guys, welcome to another beer review. Today I have um, two more seasonals for fall to do. And I'm going to get into something a little different after that, and then I'm probably going to move into the winter seasonals. So I try not to be too heavy on the seasonals because there are a lot of other stuff that's year round that's really good drinking any time of year. So, but today I have uh, the Barktoberfest from the Thirsty Dog Brewing Company. Now you may remember the Thirsty Dog Brewing Company out of Akron, Ohio when I did the old Leg Hump Reporter review. Now um, this is obviously a Oktoberfest, German style. At the bottom it says it will make you bark at the moon. We'll, we're going to find out about that. And then um, on the side it says traditional old world German style Oktoberfest, a fall celebration since <coughs> 1810. Excuse me. <coughs> um, ABV 6%. IBUs 15 and original gravity 16. Best served at 38 to 40 degrees. I just got this out of the fridge. I don't know if you can still see some frost. And also, this is my first review with my new lighting. And it's so bright, it's killing me. But uh, I want to see how it turns out. And uh, we'll see. It really does brighten up everything. So we're going to go ahead and give this a crack. And uh, a little bit of smoke coming out of there, but not a lot. Eh, still a little bit coming out. We're going to go ahead and get up close for the pour here. Alrighty. So we're going to get some decent head action there. Ooh, lots of lots of bubbles just flowing up from that. Really, really nice looking. Nice brownish... Uh, a reddish brown color to it. The color is great. Lots of carbonation. Um, let's see, yeah, I mean, more so than more so than normal. I think I'm not sure if you can see that, but there is a ton of carbonation coming up from there. So we'll see if it gives that sting that some of those other uh, beers do. Let's have a smell first. Um, I, I get some malts there. It's the first thing that jumps right at me is the malts. Maybe a little bit of roasted something or other. Um, maybe roasted barley. I definitely smell that like toasted roasted deal. A little bit of hops, but very very faint on the hop smell. Um, yeah, pretty inviting smell to it. Still, lots of bubbles still coming up. Heads, yeah, it's almost it's almost gone at this point. I don't think I've had an Oktoberfest where the head is just like in your face sticking around either, so pretty sure that's typical. Um, nothing else really on the bottle. Their cap, let me see if I can. Their cap's got a little dog on it with a, with a mug in his mouth. Um, it's interesting. I have one, so I just use the, the good old bar opener so I just bend the crap out of it. But uh, let's have a taste here, see what's going on. Oh, oh, that is excellent. Um, wow, that's really good. And I've had quite a few Oktoberfests this year, this fall season, and I gotta say, this is by far the best one I've tried without even taking another sip. I'm going to. Don't worry, I'm not gonna jump the gun. Even though I but that is that. phenomenal. Uh, just, just a beautiful uh, mouthfeel to it. You coat your throat nice. It just, it's perfect. It's perfect. Uh, there's there's malts, there's there's a very, very slight thing of hops, but man, that, that malty, that, that aroma that I smelled was just like it tastes, you know, and that doesn't always apply to the beer world. Um, this is really, really good. I'm really impressed with this one. I just, I just caught it at the corner of my eye. I wasn't even with the other, sir, uh, wasn't even with the other Thirsty Dog stuff today when I was beer shopping and I just saw it and I was like you know what let's give that a try let's have another taste here yeah creamy um, almost a little bit of vanilla there I get um, maybe even a little bit of cocoa it doesn't say anything about that and that's really strange to me but it's just it's just a slight hint, and I might even be off on that because I'm just getting over a cold I had. Got it last week, so I, I I don't. It's been long enough where it shouldn't be interfering anymore. It's been over a week now since I've been sick, so right after Halloween I just got hit with the plague, you know. 
but this stuff is great and, and the color definitely brown I mean direct light it, it's brown um, but you know not in so much light a little bit of reddish tint to it uh, working on some good lacing there well, this would be perfect obviously with an autobus go with some sausages some kind of products like that you know what I mean but uh, yeah this stuff is awesome if you can try it definitely go out and give it a try again it's called Barktoberfest um, Let's see if I can get the, the bottle there. But man, oh man, that is just really, I mean, I like Oktoberfest. I've had the Line and Kugel one. I've had a lot of different ones. Sam Adams one, obviously, I think I did a review on. Um, but this is great. This is great. I think this puts all the ones I've tried to shame. Uh, I'm sure there's some other great ones out there. I mean, I'm not saying this is the Oktoberfest to end all Oktoberfests. But certainly go out and try this guy. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. This was just a great beer. I'm going to go ahead and give this an A, solid A. I haven't found the A plus yet, but maybe one day we will. Um, definitely try it without a doubt. I mean, look at the final lace on that. Just even the side it drank out of. Sometimes you get the lines and you get nothing. I mean, this side, let's see if I can cover that even for you. I mean, that side, you can see, I got the lines, and then I got just the, the flow, you know, and wow, it was really good. I'm really excited to have more of that, and um, try it. If you can find it, give it a shot. I don't think you're going to regret this one. Solid A for the Thirsty Dog Barktoberfest. And we're going to see you next time in the beer reviews. i got one more seasonal coming for fall, and uh, then we're going to get, i got to uh, maybe bring in back some funky stuff, so we'll see. But you guys take care, enjoy your beer, and we'll see you next time.